Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to also share, like, and comment. Because of uh, the nature of my guest, uh, you know, trying to, he was trying to clear himself. Uh, not that he needed to seek permission from any office or authority, but he was just trying to clear himself so that he features uh, on uh, this afternoon's discussion. We are live on uh, different uh, platforms, including social media, Facebook page, Prime Television, Zambia, and also Emmanuel J. Banda. Uh, is, he being, uh, is he being treated unfairly or... Uh, he's just inviting troubles on himself. Or maybe we pose a question, is Imano J. Banda a troublemaker? Uh, maybe that is the question that we can ask. Is he a troublemaker? Or he's just finding himself on the other side of um, problems. Petaoke Central Member of Parliament, Imano J. Banda, is my guest as we get to discuss issues surrounding his constituency and him as uh, a honorable member honorable good afternoon uh good afternoon. i don't know if it is a it, if i if it is if if i'm in order to say good afternoon or it you are passing through a bad afternoon no uh it's a good afternoon to me um first uh, let me well, welcome the viewers and also the listen the listeners i know maybe uh, there are some also maybe who are watching through the phone but they are listening but uh, not watching mm. so um, uh, let me welcome all of them and then ex extend also the greetings good afternoon to each and everyone my names are Emmanuel J. J. Banda, Member of Parliament for Petauke Central Constituency in the Eastern Province of Zambia, the heart of Eastern Province, Peta UK. And I know in Europe it's also the same time, there's no different um, in, uh, in time. So it's also 12.26 in UK right now. Ooh. And um, a, a lot of uh, people uh, from Eastern Province, I'm sure they are, they are happy. I've just put, uh, just me coming here, I've put the smile on their face. Thank you. W when you say uh, people in, in Peta UK, are you saying they are, you've got followers there who are looking forward to this program? For you to give that emphasis? Yes, um, uh, Mr. Chifokolo, today when you just hear the name JJ Banda, even in Kaputa, they are following me. I, I, I maybe finger, it's because they are, they, are, they are your buyers. Why are you only Kaputa? Shangombo, mm, okay. they are following me. Okay. Uh, Mwinirunga, they are following me. Mwinirunga, in fact, I'm very popular in Mwinirunga because of that road from Kisasa to Mwinirunga. Mm. They are, I'm very popular. Go to Sesheke, I'm popular. I can even stand it to any constituents <laughs> now in Zambia. I can mm. pull some votes. Mm. Yes, to other constituents, maybe I can't win, but they know me. They can vote for me. I've got followers. Why should... Look, okay, okay, okay. It's, it's good that indeed you've got um, these people that are following you. Again, you said people in Eastern Province just coming here, you've put their sm uh, smiles on their faces. Why? Yeah, because I'm, um, I'm one of the people, Mr. Chifokolo, right now, when you just check in Zambia, there was uh, those um, uh, there was a very controversial uh, live program I had. Mm. I call it controversial because there are some other people who didn't take it well uh, because of me uh, doing that, and um, it was on Facebook page where I caution the people to say let's stop compensating just pointed the gun and I, sh I i even shed tears on that day mm. whereby just someone pointed a gun and then he wants to be compensated millions of kwacha from our treasury where the president every day is emphasizing to say let's build the economy the economy is not okay and then some other people they are getting money but today Thanks to that, I'm vindicated at least now. No one has been, no any politician has been compensated any money from that live program. So you can see how powerful the voice from Petaoke is. 
When you say a politician is being compensated, yeah, you are also a politician. Yes, <laughs> I was arrested uh, before uh, becoming an MP. I was mm. arrested twenty eight times. Oh, you, and you were compensated? No, no, no. Why, 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 why don't you want to be compensated? No, I'm looking at the state of the economy where we are right now the cost of living right now how it is because right now that's why even the president i was very happy one day when i heard the president to say all the government what should stop traveling because why is to save money those allowances we should save money and give our people the food because right now there's a national disaster hunger national disaster but you can imagine that's when now those people some of the people now that's when they want to travel to start now milking the money from the treasury so all that me and my leader i said no unless if the economy it will be better i've got so many acquittals Mm. which I can claim a lot of money but I said the economy is not okay but you saw some ministers were compensated money you saw some other people politicians were compensated money without thinking of the poor people who are suffering right now who can't have um, a meal on the table right now Mr. Chifokolo mm. because come to Petaoke even if ZNS they here today to say ZNS is taking ego mini meal there even 4,000, within 10 minutes, that meme will be not there. This is how hunger situation is in Zambia, especially in Petauke, in my constituents. That's why the first time in 2024, I stepped foot in parliament. When I came out from the, um, the, the suspension, the 48, the 44 days, longest suspension in the history of Zambia, when I came back, when I went, I said, Madam Speaker, the people in Petauka are suffering. My, um, her Honor, the Vice President, we are asking to provide the relief food. But I was asking to say, can you bring evidence that the people are, uh, are dying? Really? I said, no, stay on social media. But I was told to say, no, 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 no. You can't leave her here in Parliament. We don't leave her anything from the social media. That was the ruling. But it, yesterday I was surprised. And I was before, be, be, suspended before, before, because of social media. Before we go to yesterday, <laughs> I know uh, people, others might have missed it. Others might have, uh, you know, heard from us in the morning when we talked about your suspension. And others were saying, ah, is this the, the different Emmanuel J. Banda who was recently suspended? And now is it the same one you are referring to? Let's talk about. Uh, before we talk about the suspension, mm. the hunger situation, you yeah. asked our owner, the vice president, and it was shut down because uh, you failed to provide evidence according to your yes, house. Yes, but I said it to say, can I bring dead bodies? They refused. Honorable, is it feasible or is it possible that you, you would have taken dead bodies to parliament or they're from Petauke? Yes, would have used an ambulance because that's what they want. They wanted the evidence of people uh, who are dead. So now, we evidence of a dead person is what? It's, it's, it's the body. So they wanted to lay the same body on the, on the speaker's mercy there. Because that's where we lay evidence. And from there, Mr. Chifokolo, from there, I didn't end from there because I knew to say hunger situation in Petauke, it's very difficult. I moved a motion. Mm. And the motion which was, which was Mr. Chifokolo, which was approved by Madam Speaker herself. The motion is here. Where... Um, on the 21st of February, mm. I was communicated to um, to this. I'll give you a copy which you send to every all the um, all the people. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they can be able to see. Yeah, this is a motion. I moved the motion to ask the government to subsidize minimum to to reduce price so that it can be subsidized and this motion on the 12th of february 2024 was communicated to by the uh, speaker's office private members motion i'm directed to refer to your request in which you sought to introduce a private members motion that um introduce subsidy on minimum what's up my name is ken dumbo the mc with the source don't forget to subscribe to jku that this house urged the government to reintroduce subsidy on minimum in order to make the price more affordable to each and every Zambian. Mm. I wish to 
inform you that the Honorable Madam Speaker has approved the motion for debate on Wednesday, 6th of March, mm. 2024. Yours, success, um, Fefi Free, Signature, Jesse Sabi, mm. uh, Craig of the National Assembly, CC, the Director of Research. But uh, on the 6th, it was removed from the order paper. And this, it was also going to help each and every Zambian. But now, look, the Zambian people are waiting to hear about this motion. But now, how, how is the Madam Speaker going to see? To say, no, because the Member of Parliament for Petauke is a researcher, and the people now, you have more following because of this. He's going to help more people. He, he, she has suspended me so that this motion shouldn't come on the floor. Whatever, when, 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 yes, it is a private, uh, you know, motion. Yeah. You wrote to the speaker and you are uh, responded to. Yeah. Now that you are, you are on suspension, is the motion on suspension or your colleague Bino Mpundu will be able to move that motion on your behalf and other parliamentarians can join in to debate that motion? No. Uh, according to the way it is, if you are not there, which means automatically, me, I'm not allowed to go to parliament to go and sign to journals to say, can my friend continue with the motion? Because I'm not around. Around. So as a result, this motion has gone. It will never come on the floor. It's just the same as even this motion, which was also supposed to come on the 13th, to ask the government to nominate persons with a disability and the youths to the National Assembly. So have you seen all these, all these things? But you look the suspension where you can even see to say, okay, yes, but there the National Assembly, the presiding officer, they are offside. Because on several occasions, the people who are following Parliament every day, Madam Speaker, she has rude to say, the Parliament doesn't believe in social media, in Facebook. But me, I was suspended yesterday because of my Facebook post, which I said the standing orders are about to be changed. And today, me, yesterday I was suspended. Today they have introduced the standing orders, changing them, so that they can be traveling. As we are talking, the speaker will be, will be traveling today or tomorrow. She'll be in Geneva. But the president was... Uh, on, on the platform saying that he doesn't want people now to be traveling because we are looking for food. Now they are going to Genoveva. Is Genoveva going to assist Zambia on food crisis? When, when they see to say Zambia, the, the members of parliament together with the speaker, they are moving on the... Um, on the expensive ticket, air tickets, not economy, but business class, the first class, which they are moving, and then would you think someone, if you're moving in the uh, first class, business class, can, can, he, can that person think to say you are, you are suffering? Which means, Mr. Chifokoro, you are not suffering. Which means the economy of your country is stable. But there is hunger crisis. But the people are suffering. So right now the standing orders have been amended. Which I was being punished yesterday because of saying to say the standing orders they'll be amended and you run out was a pezapo chani was a pez of a series of ones have been to cool and, 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 and whatever, I'm afraid because it's like you, you, you want to repeat what you said in that live video. First of all, do you believe that your suspension was genuine? Do you believe that you are offside to comment about uh, Kubandalama and also changing the, the, the standing orders? Do you believe? that that was a mistake of you going live uh, while, while saving a, 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 you know, a suspension? No. Look, it wasn't a mistake because once I was saving that suspension, mm. uh, Mr. Chifokolo, uh, I wasn't in parliament. I wasn't allowed to go to parliament. Why did they have to use that? And then also, why did they have to use Facebook, which on several occasions, the same Madam Speaker has refused to grant members based on to say we can't qualify this because it's a, on, it's just on social media and Facebook. But how can they how, which criteria did they use to suspend me? Because it's not there in the standing order. According to her rulings, several rulings to say no, 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 we don't believe in social media. We don't believe in Facebook. 
be factual member. But today, they have believed in Facebook, they have believed in social media just to look for my suspension because of the motion to help so many Zambians on subsidizing minimum. Uh, uh, and again, and again, Honorable, I'm afraid this again you are bringing in insinuations that you've been suspended it's so that this motion does not see the light of the day. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Is it an, insu an insinuation or you've got evidence that your suspension has come so that this motion, mm -hmm. urging government to subsidize minimum, does not see the light of the day? Yes, I've got, um, I, I have uh, evidence because we are closing next week. We are closing next week. Uh, we, Parliament is going on recess next week. Okay. And then uh, I've been suspended for 30 days. Yes. Which means this sitting, I won't be there. So which means automatically the, the motion has, has dropped off because I wasn't given the answers why they didn't bring this motion on the uh, 60th. Because they were supposed to bring this motion on the 60th. Mm. If they can't bring the motion on the 60th, they never communicated with me. Which means they were supposed to bring it today, Wednesday, or next week, Wednesday. But right now, I've been suspended. So which means what? This, which was supposed to come on the 13th, the, another motion. I've got two motions here. Yes. All of them, which means they've, they've followed off. Do, 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 do you, uh, you know, uh, do you have any chance or do you have any plans to apologize to you apolo based on um, the, the video that w when you went live on the things that you, you, you talked about? You, Mr. Chifokoro, mm. should I apologize? Me, I was voted by the people to protect the people to protect the Zambian resources. So should I apologize to protect the Zambian resources? Then which means I'm supposed just to resign. So if it's like around. that, <laughs> if it's like that, which means it's better I resign, not apologizing. Because I was voted to protect the Zambian resources and the constitution of Zambia. So if I see someone tampering with the constitution, and then me, I apologize for, um, for reminding the person to say, can you, can you follow the constitution? Then, which means... I'm not doing the... Are you the only one? Are you the only member of parliament who was voted to protect the resources of this country? Why am I asking this question? It's because people are saying, ah, it's like Abanda Akonda Chabwe Vachongo. Why is it that Nibeveve Kabanda when there are other members of parliament? Mr. Chifoko, mm. Mr. Chifoko, in Mwinirunga, in Mwinirunga, the the were the uh, the buses were not going to Minirunga. Yes, they you, stopped because Mister, of the road. Yes, they stopped because of the road. Mm. Why didn't you you yourself ask me to say why Honorable Banda were you the only one who can talk about that uh, Kisa Saminirunga road? Because there there are MPs. Yes. Why were they not talking? Why did it take me from Eastern Province Petauke to talk on behalf of the people in Winirunga, Northwestern Province? And the government provided solution. Right now the buses are able to go to Winirunga yes. because of me. So it's my mandate. If you are mandatory by God, God can use each and every member in the house. So it's not a crime if God had decided to use me. Because God is the creator of each and everything on earth, Mr. Chifokoro. Mm. So if God has decided to use me, I'm not supposed to say, no, why? It's like you today, you have got an accident. Why would you question yourself to say, out of all the people, God has decided just to, to let me be involved in an in accident. Why? There is a purpose. So even in this, Mr. Chifokoro, there's a purpose why God is directing me to push these motions. There's a purpose why God directed me to, to ask government to provide a solution to Kisasa Mwinirunga Road. Because I'm sure there's something which God is keeping me for this mother Zambia. So he wants everyone to know to say yes, there is our leader. When I go to, um, to Mchinga, they should point, there is our leader. When we go everywhere, there is our leader. So I'm sure God did something mm. which he, he, he will reveal in the near future to the Zambian people who this DJ is. Mm. Remember, I survived a lot of assassination. 
I've survived the, before I became an MP. I survived a lot of assassination. And the guns were recovered in Petaoke. We are recovered. They are in the, they are in the st in, in state hands now. All those which wanted to assassinate me. What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jeku. Are these your people? The same people that voted for you? Yes, because you said before you became an, an MP, you yes. survived a number of assassinations. Yes. Those who are planning to assassinate you, are the very people that you are leading or are the ones that voted for you? Oh, yes. these are, in fact, are hired from what In exam. fact, Mr. Chifokolo, those people now, they, some of them they were hired, some of them now they changed, they started now even campaigning for me because they saw a leader in me because those people they were abandoned by the people who sent them but i because of the god i believe in i forgave them without any condition and from there them they just saw a reader in me because of me withdrawing even those cases to the people who wanted even to kill me so they said no 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 this is a reader we want they even started campaigning for me because i don't revenge mm. let us talk about uh, you know uh, what happened yesterday no. it's like you became emotional and this is not the first time when the speaker ordered you to stand behind uh, the people don't know what was transpiring you were exchanging words as you were walking some people said something i we don't know bring us to speed yeah you, 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 you it was more like exchange of words mr Chifokor, mm. uh, i'm sure you 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 are a good follower of parliament there is one time, I'm sure you remember, when I said animal farm in the house, I shouted animal farm. Then Madam Speaker asked to say, what have you said? I said animal farm. You who repeated? Are, yes. Where, who are you referring to? I said I'm referring to Binwe. Then I was in chest out. Mm. Because why are you referred to Binwe? I'm sure you remember you, journalist. I'm sure uh, as you are doing your journalism, you, you came across a book called Animal Farm, where are the Napoleons, uh, <laughs> Animal Farm, this is a farm where all animals were there, and then there were, there were certain animals which were more superior than others. Mm. That's a summary. So those uh, animals which were more superior than others were called Napoleons. So, so I'm Bino a researcher, Mpundu. that's why I'm, I'm telling so, you. So Binwe Mpundu was no, no. more superior than no, you? No, no, no. Animal farm, meaning Binwe, is being because Binwe, uh, there was a member from the right who insulted Binwe. Then Binwe, when he wanted to say, even you, whatever you have said, he uh, should refer to yourself. And then Binwe was punished. Listen, hmm. but the person who started is from the right. But who came to be to get punishment is the, is the person who was insulted first. Okay. So I said animal farm because those people who insulted Binwe, they were well, Napoleons. Hmm. So Binwe was just an elephant in the animal farm book. Or maybe Binwe was just a goat in the animal farm. So whereby the Napoleon, they can insult any animal without them being charged. But when uh, these other animals, when they insult back the, 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 the Napoleons, which means he will be charged. Mm. So, um, there yesterday, uh, uh, Minister of Water and Minister of uh, Minister of Water, your brother. Who comes my brother, yes. my own brother. That's yes. why they say Easterners, we like killing ourselves. My own brother, um, Mike Mposha, and Minister of uh, uh, Sports, Honorable Member for Kaputa, you, you, they you, insulted you me. Cousin. Yes, they insulted me as I was walking. I'm sure you saw yes. when I was asked to say, go and stand. Mm. I, Director, if that picture, if that video I is ready, as he's, as he's explaining, maybe you can you can, you can can show us uh, yeah. what happened as he was uh, going to stand where the speaker had ordered the Honorable to go and Not this one, the other one. In the mm. video footage, killer. Okay. In a video yes. footage circulated yes. on social media. So now, as I was going the footage, there, Mr. Banda I'm sure you saw, I complied because I'm very familiar with the standing orders. Mm. So I complied. I was walking there. Then those two now, they started insulting me. Using abusive language in the, in the house. Okay.
Okay. So I said, no, enough is enough. You can't be insulting. Have you seen? I'm coming there. You see me? Mm -hmm. You see me? Wait. Yes. Uh, there, because you were they seated thought, there as yes, she was. Yes, they thought that maybe I'm not in the house, mm. but I was in the house. Mm -hmm. So they asked me to say, can you go? Mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah, by then she was, uh, yes, yes, talking to you, you that, 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 that you should go and stand. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you see me now standing. You look to be very shocked. Uh, you, 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 no, you didn't I see this coming? No, I mm. saw it coming. Okay. Because uh, if you remember on the youth day, I was in Petauka, I asked all the mothers to kneel down and pray for me. Go on my Facebook page on the youth day around the 21 hours. I was uh, I was talking to the mothers at Chada. All of them they knelt down praying for me, mm. and then they told me to say be strong, but uh, ask the people you are helping who will be praying for you. Mm. Yes, you are going to meet a lot of challenges. Have you seen? So yes. that mercy is going. Yes, because she was told to stand behind you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now there you me, are moving. I'm coming. A yes. I've complied. A vision. Mike Mposha yes. has stood there. A mm -hmm. vision. He was insulting me. You have seen a minister insulting me. Whereby even the presiding officer is seeing, but the presiding officer can't demand the minister to say we don't use the insults in here. Have you seen? So it had now to take me to tell him to say, you, you, you should have respect to me. I don't insult this house. But, but, I, I represent the people. Have you seen? Mm -hmm. I'm telling them now yes. to say, you are a minister, you are insulting in presence of the presiding. And, and what was that in order? Uh, for the you now exchanging and we, it was so, that in order. So was it in order being insulted? No, no, no. Ah, uh -uh. Mr. Chifogoro, mm. you follow parliament? Yes. Was it, was it in order for those people to insult me? Uh, 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 According to Parliament, no, no, no. the it, way you, it, it, you know Parliament, it, it wasn't in order. It, it wasn't in order. It wasn't so, in me, order. I was supposed to play a blind eye? No, no, no. No. Ah, no. Where even you, mm. Mr. Chifokor, today, if he, people are beating you in presence of the security wings, the security wings are watching, you can't defend yourself? You can. Huh? You can. So, me defending myself, it was a problem. If you, you can defend yourself, Mr. Chipotle. No, honorable. Me uh, defending myself there, it's a problem. No, no, no honorable. I, I haven't said you defending yourself w was a problem. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to look at two wrongs, which cannot, can never make it, can never make a right. But two where was the, but, was it? where was the presiding officer not to make ruling just there and then to say, you members, can you stop insulting the member? I've asked him to go and stand there is there a provision where maybe you go and get the recording to say oh. this is what happened yes, Madam Speaker, i want you to render now, a ruling there. because i was abused now, i was insulted look, by this look Remember? honorable munia zur has been insulted several times and members have complained to there have you ever seen any member from the right being uh, suspended Tell me, even a minister, in my previous sitting, where Matiwini was a speaker, we saw Honorable uh, Rusambo being given suspended for 30 years, for 30 days. Now tell me this sitting, have you ever seen any member from the, from the right being suspended? Why, all of so? them. Why, why, why are they not suspended? They are Napoleons. I've told you to say, check the book of uh, Animal Farm. Did you see in the book of Animal Farm where Napoleons were being given punishment? The answer is no. Because they were more superior than others. Even if they do wrong things, they can't be punished. I'll give you an example. Honorable Chushi Kasanda, member of parliament for Wapachisamba Apa. Epangamlandu Moz, a member of parliament, Waku Chiengi. Akatuta. But yes, Honorable Katuta. But Honorable Katuta was suspended. Honorable uh, Chushi Kasanda, even the judgment is there to say no because she was the first offender. Honorable given Katuta, she was the first offender as well. But uh, she was uh, suspended for, for days. But Honorable Katuta, Chushi Kasanda, she, they said in that ruling to say she's the first offender.
so uh, we have warned her. So, so honorable, is, is, is it, you, 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 you said you were insulted by the two honorables who are yes. full cabinet ministers. Yes. Uh, one is your brother, one is your tribal cousin. Mm. Were those insults serious or maybe they were just trying to joke with you? Can a brother joke with you? Or it's your cousin? If it was only honorable uh, Nkando, I was going to take it as a joke. But now there was my brother now. So it was no longer a joke. Okay. Yes. It was no longer a joke, Mr. Chifoko. Mm. That's why I'm telling you to say, just there in the house, a lot of members, Muni has been called a rat by someone, by an MP who is not, who is not a, a tribal cousin or what, and the complaints went there, no one was charged, a lot of... What's up, my name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce, don't forget to subscribe to Jeku. People that have been insulted, even Binwe has been insulted, JJ Banda has been insulted, even yesterday I was insulted. Even last time you saw, people, they started, they charged, they wanted to throw punch, punch on me. It's not allowed in parliament. But if it was us who had started throwing punches on, on them, you are going to see who are going to be suspended. But those members who wanted to beat me, who were throwing punch, did they, they, were, they were not suspended. Mm. Because they were Napoleons. Mm. People of Petawuke have got no member of par or they are not going to be represented in the next, uh, you know, um, 30 days. But we know that Parliament will be uh, will go on recess very soon. Uh, what next? People don't know. You are here now. You can tell people of Petawuke, people of Zambia, people of Mwinlunga that follow you, that support you, people of Sesheke, people of Malole. What next? in the next 30 days that uh, Imano J. Band has been suspended? Uh, look. What will be happening? Mr. Chfokoro, this suspension, it's only affecting the, the, the people from Winirunga, the people from uh, Kaputa, who the people of Mafinga, where there are no roads, where buses can't go, the coach, uh, coach buses can't go there in Kaputa, in uh, Mafinga, uh, so those people that are the ones who are affected right now in Chavuma, people that are the ones who are affected right now mm. in Kipushi, people that are the ones who are affected because I can't talk on their on their behalf right now in the house. But my people, from my constituents, in fact, to them it's a plus because in these thirty days, all of it I'll be in the constituents. I'll be working, doing community works, even going to ministries, following up some uh, papers which haven't been approved. I'll be going there. So, to my constituents now, them they will be in parliament, they will be busy with the parliamentary work. Me, I'll be busy with my people in the constituents, where they love me most. Because I'll always be with them. Mm. And all of them in Petauke. They have, they have enjoyed uh, my leadership because to me, even if today, we, uh, even if uh, they said to, to say tomorrow there will be general election, to me there's, there's no need to come to Petauke. The, the people that have told me to say, Honorable, for you, there's no need of campaigning. What you promised us, you have already given us. You should just come and say you are going to promise us some more things. Because already I've already delivered I, which um, most of the things like uh, on the health sector, water, um, education, I've, I've delivered. Last time when you were here, you talked about the president that is a good man and means well. Mm -hmm. And again, in one of your submissions, you talked about the president talking about cutting the traveling, that people, those that are in government should not travel because we've got a disaster. Uh, is that directive or pronouncement by the president, do you see it being followed by the people that the president is leading, especially those in the executive and those in the in parastatal companies? Are they going to follow that directive of cutting, you know, the traveling? Uh, thanks a lot, Mr. Chifokolo. Mr. Chifokolo, let me borrow Honorable Munia Zulu's um, uh, debate of yesterday. And I caught what he said. He said the president declared national disaster for hunger. And then the minister came 
and have a press briefing and decide to say Zambian shouldn't worry, Zambia has got a lot of food. Zambia is in, uh, Zambia shouldn't worry, there's a lot of food. Mm. That was coming from the minister. That was coming from the minister. And then the previous day, the, the president declared hunger as a national disaster, disaster. and an emergency. And an, as an emergency. So now, Honorable Zuru on the floor of the house yesterday, he, he cautioned to say, we don't know now as a, as a Zambian, who are we going to listen to? Either the president or the people the president he appointed. Because the people who the president appointed, the, when the president issued this, these people they issued the opposite. So you find that now that opposite thing, opposite, you find that now people are failing now, they will end up following the minister leaving the president but is that good because even me if i was the president when i issue something then the person i've, uh, I've appointed is issuing some other statement which is uh, against the the statement i've issued immediately i need to fire that person immediately i need to fire that person because right now okay tell me the zambian people right now who are they going to follow between the minister because the constitution of zambia says that whatever the minister says it's policy yes the, whatever the president says it's policy so the president said that um there's a, a hunger uh, he declared hunger as national disaster and emergency mm. but the minister said no don't worry zambia has got food and then even the international community they heard that statement both the statement so the international state community who are they going to believe because all of them whatever they say it's police that's why I'm saying Zambia things are, um, uh, um, are failing to move because the, the people the president is appointing. Because right now, okay, you, Mr. Chifokoro, the people from your community, uh, between these two cool statements, how, how, how do you advise as a, as a, uh, as a citizen of, the, of Zambia? Uh, Which statement to follow? When I, I've received, ah, no, no, no. I've, I've received a message you, he, from your brother. It, no, he, yes, just, from your brother Apiri. You know him. I've received uh, a message from your brother Apiri. Mm. We saying it is not for hunger but for drought. The declaration that the president made. So both the president and the minister are right. Are right. That's what your brother is saying. Yes, but uh, look, the president said hunger as national disaster, and you you saw yesterday the World Bank were donating was with the minister of uh, green green economy of yes they donated something because of hunger and even in petauke when you go today even if you go with 20000 bags of minimum it will just go within seconds all of it is people make hues like i don't know it will go now which means there's hunger and we agree with the president now which statement because this minister says that no we have got food we do we, there's no any disaster for food we have got food we have got food secure as a country but the president is saying no 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 there's a, a food shortage in the country we are asking other well wishers to come on board to help Zambia on the food crisis. But the minister said, no, 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 don't worry, Zambia, we have got food. So which statement are we going to follow? So in short, you are saying even uh, the, the directive by the president that uh, people should cut on the travels or the travel. Yeah, so is this, it going to be followed? No, it's not, it followed? it's not followed. Go to parliament today. Go to parliament today. Today, check at Parliament if uh, this week there will be the sp uh, uh, these days remaining days if uh, the Speaker of National Assembly will be in the House. She has traveled already. We should be making money on um, uh, allowances, salaries, drawing from our national treasure, drawing from the national treasure. She has gone, but uh, here in Zambia. We are, we are looking for money in Petauke. We want to give people mini meal. And then people where they are going to Genaviva. 
if the atoll they are going to Genoveva, uh, people from Genoveva they going to believe if they see their t the tickets of the people who are visiting them. It's it's business class. It's um, it's not economy. Are they going to believe to say these people are suffering to the where they are coming from? The answer is no. And then did, can Genoveva help Zambia? The answer is no. But the president is asking to say, you people from Genoveva, can you help us? And then people now you are going there. It's like me, I'm coming to you, Mr. Chifokor, to say, at home, there is no mini meal. But I've packed a ham, I've come to your place. You don't have a vehicle. But me, I'm coming with a, a V8, a crew crew, hmm. and pack it. And he said, Mr. Chifokor, I'm asking for 300 kwacha. I buy mini meal for my kids. Nikuleko tupamera tuwa wana wangu Walieko na pakinga motoka Mwe mwe na motoka kwa manupe mpamwe Can you remove it? Which means I'm insulting you on your face Because just if you were using that kuru kuru To come there When you leave mvuru mvuru Which means the president already said to say It's two liters, three liters So which means we, My lives from my house to your house Which means it's about 500 But why didn't I pack the land cruiser And then use that money for land For fuel to buy food uh, For my children But I'm putting fuel to come and borrow money from you To buy what Can, Are you going to, be, to take me serious What's up my name is Ken Dumbo The MC with the sauce Don't forget to subscribe to Jeku are you going to take me serious, Mr. Chfokor? Because uh, the, of, of, automatically the amount uh, of money that you've used to buy fuel uh, to come to my place will be more than 300, which you'll be asking for. So, uh, so ticket, ticket, Mr. Chfokor, a business class from Zambia to, to Europe, it's how much? Are you telling me we can't help a word, a word just for business class ticket? How many bags of minimum from ZNS can we buy from one? ticket it can cover i think more than 100 families so if in, we go to mississi and help 100 families if we can cut all parliamentary trips because we are the readers it's us who make it lose there why can't we make rules to say let's cut the traveling as parliamentaries is the way the president also said to say let's cut off all the trips let's use that money sending to the people those people who are suffering who doesn't because when you come to Petauk, even here in Nusak, there are people who haven't eaten Shima for one week. There are people who haven't eaten Shima for two weeks. I can tell you other incidents, Mr. Chifokoro. Someone, he came to report to, to my office to say, I was cooking Shima in Petauke, in short ground. They were cooking Shima. As I was cooking Shima, um, he went inside the house to go and get um, um, Riresh mm. so that he can start cooking Riresh. Epeza nsima wa mwivira. Na poto, kunyamu lila kumozi na poto. Honorable, Lomba nga TV. Is it strange but true or what? That mundu mwivira kumona na poto. Eh, mwivira kumozi na poto mundu. Nsima ili pamulilo pambaula kumwivira. Otola ndiyo wa kuza panja. Opeza ndiyo nsima kuli. Kusara atea na ndiyo. Kusara na ndiyo mkwasu. Honorable, we have to go. We have to go. Let's go. Let's be telling the people. That's why Mr. Chifoko, I've never seen you to parliament. To ask even questions, these questions, these motions mm. for subsidy of minimum. It's you. You saw in the social media how they praised me. I saw it in one of the newspaper, some um, some other community. Mm. They were praising me for moving this motion. But look, the Zambian people, you are busy. No, you are suspended. Instead of you, Zambian people, crying for yourself to say now the motion for subsidizing minimum, it won't come. Which means now the 50 ukawala la wo iba lomba nsima kuivira na nsima ilipa pambaula upitirire Honorable, thank you so much. Wishing you all the best and we'll be following you so long, as you motion, engaging the people. Motion. Even I'm asking died, you, Mr. Chifokola, as a journalist, senior journalist who talk on behalf of the people, go now to National Assembly, ask them about this motion. What is the way forward? Because the Zambian people are waiting for this motion where they want to see government subsidizing minimum at these difficult times because it wasn't the fault of um, of any zambian or jj or the president to say we should have uh, drought 
But yes, the fault also might become to us leaders also who are not telling uh, each other the truth to say, let's stop exporting. Honorable, thank you so much. Wishing you all the best and indeed the challenge has been accepted. We'll be able to follow <coughs> through Parliament and ask them on that important motion. So I want you to do thank just you. to follow the, the, why because me always when I come here, uh, I'm used to to answer calls. Mm. So today you have done it deliberately. <laughs> okay. Uh, director, is it possible? Uh, yes, is it yes. possible? So that we can, can hear the feedback from the people. Pick one or two calls. Is it possible, Director? You can give us Director, is it possible? Okay, they have given us 10 minutes. Open yes. the phone. We open ten the minutes, phone right yes. now. 10 minutes. Have given us ten in fact, minutes the debate, we debate six minutes. Yes, now we've we'll oh, given uh, ten minutes. Eight minutes. Uh, but now, this is prime debate. Yes, prime debate. So we've given you ten yes. minutes, Honorable, to respond to Let this cause. Zero seven seven six forty ninety eight forty is the number that you are calling. Emmanuel J. Banda, suspended. But okay, Central Member of Parliament is my guest. And he has uh, responded. He has talked about a number of issues. Now you can give us that call uh, to join the conversation. Remember, they have just given us 10 minutes. Be brief. You introduce yourself direct to the point. If it is a question or a contribution or just a question, uh, be brief. Remember to turn down the volume on your TV sets uh, once you call. Uh, let's see if we have uh, we have uh, a caller on the line on the number uh, 0776409840 is the number that you're calling. Be brief. Uh, reduce the volume on your TV set. You introduce yourself. Remember, be civil. There is no need. Hello. If indeed, your tempers are high. There is need to calm your tempers down and take a lot of water. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is the good afternoon. Cosmas from Ndola, Copper Belt. Uh, how are you? Yeah, Cosmas from Ndola, uh, Copper Belt. Tell us your name and uh, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Ndola. Your name? Cosmas Zonde. Yes, uh, Mr. Cosmas, let's hear your contribution or question. Yes, I tell you that man is strong. Okay. Those are the people we want. Mm. Who can talk about food, our staple food, about our life, future, world, because the food is everything. You honor them, you are a strong man. God bless you. Don't be intimidated. Good day. Thank you so much, Mr. Cosmas. Uh, just encouraging you that you need to remain strong. You're a good person. You are speaking on their behalf. And I uh, said good day. Yes, sir. So let's speak another call. Hello? Uh, hello, good afternoon. Hello? Hello? Good afternoon. Afternoon. How are you? Fine. Your name and where are you calling us from? Come again. You're breaking. You are breaking. You are breaking. Uh, we, we, we can't get you. Uh, let's uh, Hello? Good afternoon. Hello? Good afternoon. Hello? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your name and where are you calling us from? Uh, Mr. Sokolo, my name is Mr. Ken calling you from Kitwe. Mr. Ken from Kitwe. Be brief. Let's yes, hear a contribution or question. Okay, it's a contribution, my brother, and yes. the, on the other hand, I didn't want to highlight what the Honorable J.J. Banda is doing. Mm. My brother, this gentleman is doing a special job, because what we know now is government does not mean war for a Zion people. We have seen what they were pronouncing when they were in opposition, and now what they are able to do whilst they are in power. So from the onset, we thought we can give them a chance to rule this country, and in the two, two, two years plus, that they have been in office, it shows that they do not mean well for the Zambian people. What we also want to believe and know is that this government, if the same behavior continues, they can start social media, they can shut us all, but one thing they should know, we have our votes. When the MNC was in power and the peer band, they tried to do anything against us, they failed. When PF was in power, they tried to do anything against the HH, they still failed. Today, HH is ruling. Who, what makes him think he's going to do anything against a other opposition to avoid them coming to power? They should know that they, their worst enemy is the Zambian people, not even a name of a political party, not even an opposition party or leader. The Zambian people are the main opposition who are seeing what they are doing. So, Judge Banda, what you are doing is okay and correct. Thank you.
Thank you so much. I'm squeezing another co two calls uh, or two callers all the way from uh, the Copper Belt uh, that we've received so far. Uh, director, keep those uh, you know, calls coming. We know that people are calling in. Uh, there is a congestion uh, with our phone line. Hello, good afternoon. Hello there. Others are even putting us on hold. Uh, I've told you to say well, people have got a good smile. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon. Your name, sir? This is Patrick Kazenge calling you from Lundaz, Eastern Province. From Lundaz, let's see your contribution, Patrick. Yes, Mr. I would like to encourage Mr. Banda, mm. Honorable Banda, rather. Yeah, Banda is a Tiku Franiza Buno Zonsi. Ngativi Varaku, Varaku. Vawama, Vawama. So, you got emotion in Parliament, because you have emotion and you have to go to the subside, then you have to go to the because of the same emotion, then the government is wrong. If you have to go to the suspended event, you have to go to the MPs in Parliament, you have to go to the But the emotion is not the same as the band, it is not the same as the Zikom, last last call before he responds. Uh, the three calls so far encouraging you, honorable, yes, or standing with you. Uh, let's let's stop. What's up? My name is Ken Dumbo, the MC with the sauce. Don't forget to subscribe to Jeku. Director, go throw that call in uh, so that uh, we talk to our last caller. Who is going to be our last caller? Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Your name, sir, and where are you calling us from? This is Andrew Piri. I'm calling from Petauke. Andrew Moritavide. Piri from Petauke. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, let me go straight in, uh, in my vernacular language. Mm, yes, uh, please. I've done that. 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 I've done Vamene wachita, mvanzeru zeta veka, kupamba na vamene wachoka kukumbuyo. Kufa tuwa na mwacha kde, kwa hili, wa president na abanda, nita mwete wanda mwakita. So, abanda kutilizani. Mkwa hili pa kuna kwa kongeri. Ziko mapiri, we have to call Mr. Banda, uh, Honorable Banda, a call from Petauke, a call from Lundazi, Kitwe, Ndola, they are standing with you. The last caller, Mr. Piri, is saying, so far, as a watcher band, we are country, Zambia, President in our band, was it? Yes. So now, have you seen <coughs> Mr. Diesel Machine? Hmm. That's why I was telling you, when on my preamble, when we were starting the program, I said to say, I've put a smile on the people's face, just appearing on this platform. Because uh, this, this session have been blocked to, to talk in Parliament. When I press Madam Speaker, she doesn't allow me. Because we differed, uh, me and her, we differed, it's personal between her and me, it's a private issue which we differed, which I'm giving a challenge to tell the Zambian people. I'm going to give her three months to tell the Zambian people. If she won't tell the Zambian people, then me myself I'll come here, Mr. Chfokolo, to tell you what we differed, me and her. But because we differed, she's bringing all these frustrations. What? To, that's why she said that I'll make your life difficult. This is what we differed. So now, it to tell you to say, the people of Zambia, they love me. I'm just from telling you to say, the people, they love me because I talk on their behalf. If they are in the house, I can be a rejected stone. But outside, across the country, I'm celebrated. Have you seen this cause? I've never been to Nora. I've never been to Kitwe. But look the way they, they praise me. Lundazi, look the way they praise me. In Petauke, you have heard yourself. Now, what more if I land in Petauke? I go to my to my people to say, Mwana wanu awera lomba, ula unga wenzo kamba, kuti asenge boma, boma itoseko unga uwere unyi nji. Ampiti kisha mpari ya menti. Kuka vetiani Petauke. Orebo, we have so, to go. So, I can assure to you, Mr. Mm. Chifokoro, to say, Jeje Banda, ni murungu, wenda na murungu. Mwese kutira nikondo hivi na hivi, murungu ocho sapu. This suspension, we already prayed over it. 
and I'll finish the suspension smoothly. All the women, they knelt down praying for 10 minutes, praying for me. From there, they told me, our son, can you start off? Go now to, to, to Lusaka. Go and receive the same, the same suspension. I've received the suspension. That's why I wasn't, I wasn't even surprised. I wasn't even shocked. I was expecting, in fact, me, I had even written to them, make it one year so that maybe you are satisfied. Honorable, thank you so much. There you <laughs> make it, it one year so, we have to so that you can be satisfied. But still, I've got a platform which I created on the Facebook page. And even here, this is the platform. Mm. You are this giving us platform. This is your home, Honorable. Yes, this, this is, is home. my home. Thank so you. you have given me platform. I'm able to communicate with people. If you see people are calling from Rundazi, <laughs> from Kitwe, Nola, Mwinirunga, where people are calling all of them. Have you ever seen any negative uh, comment? Thank you so to much. Say, no, you say no, you are a thug, no, you are a We wish you all the best as you work for the so people of Petahuke and Zambia in the next Fokon, 30 days. The last one. Yes. The last one. Mm. Have you seen Mr. Chifokon? Last session uh, between September and, and December there was a motion which I pushed to introduce religious uh, minister affairs. Mm. I'm sure you remember very well yourself. Sure, sure. I invited all the churches. They were there. And the Honorable Kasun, a member of parliament for Kembe, you heard when she shot down that motion to say, government with the churches, they are not supposed to work together. Then on my winding up debate, I said, no, government should work together with God because I've been sent by God. I, Madam Speaker asked me to say, can you withdraw the word God? I said, in, inside, I said, I rebuke in Jesus' name to withdraw. <laughs> but you, he, I, but he, <laughs> he physically, thank you I, so with, much. Ah, wait. Yes. I withdraw that word. Then, but you say, Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. J cool and turn on the notification bell cause I'm gonna see you in the next video.